Good morning and welcome to part two of the uh, standard record player. Uh, what we're going to do today for this part we're going to change the What we'll do for this part, we'll change, we're going to recap the amp. I'm just looking to see, because it's a bit weird the way this is done. Uh, let's move this oil and stuff. There we go. Let's see how it's put together, because I don't want to desolder it, because I don't have to. I mean, this is a simple amplifier, really. Uh, I want to check. Is that resistor burnt up? No. No. Right, I want to check. orange Phillips caps in it. A lot of green mylar, mylar ones, they're alright, they can stay, they don't really bother them. They don't really go. The Callens one, that needs to be done. So basically I'm just looking at the best way of tackling this. Get the board out so we can work on it. We don't have to take that off there, that back bit there doesn't have to come off. I think it's only uh, it's only three screws if we take that one off there for the earth. Because I have to take that one out there because I can't get the because of the way it's. The way they've mounted it, the thing. So basically, hmm, yeah. Do I have a tool in my drawer to fit that? I might have a tool in my drawer, I'll actually undo that. Maybe I don't. We'll have a look. <coughs> gramophone needles. I don't need gramophone needles, but I know if I need some, I've got them. Right, so let's see what we've got in the drawer. this solder here and a lot of it's crap it's a shame I mean it will get used I will use it obviously come in handy when I've got no good stuff left I'm just looking I don't know. I know that there's some fucking tools in here. Little socket things like these. Okay now. I don't know whether that one will fit. It might. No, I need the next next. Even the next one up on it's not from that. Let's have a look anyway, because you never know, dear. See, there's another one that's too small. You can tell that's too fucking small, because it's smaller than the other one. Yeah, 
man, I want to fit. Shame, really. Doesn't have to fucking struggle. It's a bit of a bummer. A bit of a fucker, really. Try the this is going to be a pain. Right. Oh, and the knobs off. Sure, don't lose those. Oops, don't scratch it. Get some pretty good knitters and get this one under there. There we are. Put the knobs up there. People try put us down. I shouldn't sing, really, should I? But fuck it, why not? Just turn that off now with the tool. Yeah, look at that. Right. Just turn that off with that. Make sure I don't lose those. I think that one there's loose. Yeah, and then the amp will just lift it out. It's only a little small amp. I mean, I could put a bigger amp in this. If I wanted. Could really jazz it up. There's enough room in here to get another amp in it. But I'm not going to. Alright, let's see what we've got in the way. Of an amplifier, shall we, folks? We've got some air, some fluff and shit. Let's pull this out from under here a minute. Yeah, you always fucking get one, don't you? Why did he? Fucking solder it. I'm not pulling that. If I pull it, I'll pull the fucking thing off the switch. 
on it with the ground that goes into there. So we've got to get that there. Try and move that back. Try not to fucking wreck the bastard speaker. See if we can get this out the same way. Because if we can get this out the same way, it'll save a lot of fucking amount. Because it should just lift out then. Apart from the fact I might have to desolder the wires from the speaker. Feeling we're, feeling we're stuck. Got turning here. Yeah. Move that out of the way. We're loose. Fuck it off. Catching on there. See when we just bend that out of the way. Take a bit of the angle off it. I should then let me I can't tell where it's turning. Right, so if I take that off there, say if I'm doing another fucking knot. There we go. There we are. Take that off there. That's the earth. The case. Speaker blue. Speaker white. Right. Oh, we're not really got a lot on here. How many transistors have we got? One, two, three, four transistors. Yeah. We've got a pre-amplifier transistor, I presume here. We've got a driver. And push-pull output. I presume they're push-pull. Right. And we've got this Callin's capacitor here. to start with is 
the electrolytic one here. We're gonna gonna start with this one. Get this one changed. Get some new ones in there in place. If I've got new ones, that is. I might even be able to solve them straight to the fucking board. You never know. There's only two capacitors. Two negative, two positive. I might be able to solder them. to the board I mean this will be as good as a new one when it's done because uh, pretty much everything will have been all of all the known failure points at least will have been replaced Right, what's the value? 1000 UF, what, 18 volts? 1000 UF. At 18 volts. So, let's click this. Clip it that way we know. I always clip them. There we are. Now let's, uh, we'll need to save our node resistor as well. I mean, this has got a lump in it, so it doesn't need to be replaced. So we'll be getting replaced either way. And that's negative. Let me just clip that resistor. See where we're connected. Can is not isolated, so can is negative. But we'll connect the blue to there, flat to that out. One thousand four hundred and eight UF. That's a bit high. It's on its way out. So we'll, we'll replace that. Check the other side. I mean, that probably soldier on for a bit, but if it doesn't have to, then we don't have to. We can replace it. Yeah, and that's fire. That's up by another hundred and fucking odd. So yeah, that's yeah, that's fifteen hundred and forty-eight. Fifty. Yeah. We've, ESR's not bad on them though, ESR was pretty okay, but we're going to replace them. Not really giving a shit we're replacing them. We'll put new ones in, we should have a 1000. A couple of 1000s in our stash. We've got the shrink tube in case we need that. So let's see what we've got in our... See what we've got in our cap stash. <sighs> 
two to a 2200. Two thousand two hundred. These are all two twos. You can't. They're all two twos. They're only ten volts. So that one is. What's that one twenty five volts. I mean, they have to be 18, there's another one at 25 volts. They have to be, they, they, they have to be 18 volts. I mean, I've got, I've got a couple there that match, but, well, they don't match, they're not the right value. But, 200, that, that's only 10 US. So I'll look at my things up there, see if I've got any 1000s, if not I'll just have to put them in, because it's a case of use what you've got really folks, in this day and age. I need to order some 1000s and stuff in, because I'm really low on that sort of stuff, so I need to get some in, but let's see, part of my uh uh, there's the one thousands. I don't think we've got any. No. No. What are you? No. Nope. I'm out of them. I'm out of them. So. And I'm not putting that back in. The reason why is because I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to just put these in. It should be all right. Just smooth it better, won't it? Should be okay. Two thousand one hundred and fifty-two for zero point fourteen ohms. I'll put them fuckers in. That one anyway. Uh, see how it goes. If I'm not happy, I can always order them. But I think it'll be all right. Believe it or not, that's exactly the same. So, yeah. I think we'll be able to get away with that. Just smooth it a bit more, won't it? Right, so let's shift that now. Let's work out how we're going to do it, because we don't have the luxury of a tax strip. So, let's see how we're going to do it. We've got this Callens one here to change and that one there. That's a Phillips one. They're, they're horrible, them fuckers. And the board isn't marked either. So, what we'll do, we'll make our... Make our block up, make our replacement caps up, and then what we can do, we can we'll decide how we're going to mount them. So we, we make our cap of our capacitors up by simply just just wrapping round like that. Ouch! Like, like wrapping round like that. As if you just 
up and around, squeeze it down. Get a good mechanical connection. Remember folks, good mechanical connection is important. Let's try some, let's try this crap solder. So I've got some of the good stuff. It's I don't think it's so much that it's crap. I think the thing is it's dead thin. Let's see what it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, that's crap that. Yeah. No. Well, it's not that it's bad, it's just that it's, it's actually acceptable. Uh, I mean, that's acceptable, it's not going to go anywhere, it's a good join. I'm happy with it, but it's, it's not as good as this other stuff I use. That's not bad stuff either from what I remember, I've only got a bit left. But the proper stuff, which is this that I use, this is good stuff, Steve got me that from CPC. So what I want to try and do next is work out See there's your wires and there's the capacitor with the node resistor on it So we'll snip off our node resistor because we're going to need that And that goes in between black, goes in between yellow and red. Now, so if I bend that down that way, bend that that way, that that way. There we go, bend that that way. I need to find a piece of tag board or something and I've got none. Piece of tag strip. I wonder, I wonder, see what I'm thinking is, in there a minute, the thought is if I can use the reuse that, I could just solder everything, J hook everything, and solder everything to it. But I might need longer nuts and bolts, but that's no problem. I should have a box of nuts and bolts. So let's get me. Let's get me. Alright, we nuts and bolts. Now. Find some that fit. Do we want thin ones? Do we find some that fit these nuts? They're too thin. I think the one we're looking for is probably that one. Nope, too thin. Word about this one. Will that fit through? Let me just pop that out of there a minute. Right, well, if that pops through there, if I get that to pop through there, which I can, that 
it's no problem. So all I need to do now is find the nut. That'll fit there. I'll do it. That can be bolted straight back through there again. They're about the same thickness. Well, these, I think these are a bit, these are a tad thicker, so they might have trouble. I mean, they do go through when they go through the metal. Fit the original nuts. No, fit them ones, probably not. Yeah, it does. Well, I don't understand that because that fits there. They're the same fucking, same fucking nut, the same fucking bolt, so how come they don't fucking fit? I hate it when you get that. Let's try this one. Oh, they will go through, yeah, they, oh, they'll go through just about. That one wouldn't. Well, they will if you jiggle it. So yeah, we can use those. So basically, we want another nut. That's that. So, Fire. It's there, we're all right with that. Now, what we want is this. Want. We need the sucker, whatever that fucker is. See that earlier and all. I've seen the fucking thing earlier. It's on here somewhere. It's in the corner. Where are you? It's not over there, so I'll put this back here for a minute. Put that back there. Not in the drawer, is it? Can't see why it's been in the drawer. Been used the last few days. I've got another one, but. Nice. Right. Yes, nothing 
I'm dropping you guts first thing in the morning. No every sucker this folks, it's fucking disappeared. Well there it is. Right, so now Right, so now we need to get this capacitor out of this Phillips one. And it, these are polarised, I think. And I think it's working out where the legs are. I think they're there. I think they're there. Yeah, there. Do, 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 do. Morning! You alright? Good. The only downside to these cheap amps is the construction of them really. That's the only downside to them really is the Really, is the construction of them because they really, really are constructed crap. Still, I would rather have one of these than one of them fucking modern fucking crap of all things. Sure. Right, negative is move that over a bit so we can see. Oh, there's another capacitor there as well. So there's a one UF at 10 volts. I didn't see him. So he's got to be done. Little fucker there. Little one UF at 10 volts. Right, so he's got to come out. Negative is negative that side and he's. He's 1,000, he ain't got one, so we're going to be stuffed if that's the case. Negative is nearest me. We have to make sure we have that right. Crumbled. Now we don't know what the value of it is. Oh dear. So we'll find a piece of plastic that survived with the value written on it. Let's just 
shatter to fall. Right. There we are. Right, well, I don't know what the value of that is. I've got a clue. Needs a clean up round there. I think it's leaking that anyway. It's one UF that one now. It just fragmented into bits. I'm going to have to try and find out what the value is, folks. I know negative goes towards me, so i put a mark on the board so I won't forget. Right, 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 right. Yeah, we're I can't see it being a thousand UF there. It was too old, so it could have been a hundred. Could have been a hundred. The problem is, you see, if I'm not going to know, because the case is split to fucking millions of pieces. What a dopey bastard! That's because I tried to pull because you can see how the pliers. What's this Callens one? Electrolyte all over me. That one's 300 UF at 10 volts. That's 300 UF. Fucking three hundred you have. Not in that box I have, and I've got a one you have to get that out. And then after all I'll have to have a quick look at the manual. I've got it for the circuit and find out what that capacitor is. I think it's about hundred UF or something. I've got some two twenties, I could put two twenties in. Two twenty UF. Put two twenty in as a three hundred. What are these ones? Ten UF. Definitely two zeros, so it could have been a hundred microfarad. I will I'll get hundred microfarad out, uh, and I'll check the manual. And I want a one UF, which should be this one. Let me check the manual, folks. Let me check the manual, if I've got the manual, that is. If I haven't, then I'll just have to go with... I'll tell you what I'll do, I'll do me... I'll replace what I've got here. I'll do me replacing what I've got here. And then I'll, and then I'll look at the manual.
which side is negative. Positive on that one, and the Callens is towards me. Well, down this way. Is, is there it's towards me which is there right so that's no problem it's clean See if I replacement two twenty goes in. Two twenty in here. I think there's a bit leaking anyway. It's crap down there. There's a bit leaking. There we go. Make sure that we don't. We're in the right way, yeah. Because positive is that one. Yeah. Goes to the tone control, I believe. Do 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 do. Now. That's that. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, it goes towards there. The positive goes to. Does it go to the tone control? Goes to the transistor. So that's that. Now we want our, I'm going to put, let's get this. Let's get this other fucker out. Which is going to be a pain. way around it goes. Positive towards the rectifier. Right. 
just to draw the rectifier so we don't forget. Right. Yeah, we've got a nice hole there where the capacity used to be. Let's put our one microfarad in. Try soldering it in. There we are. That's it. I think I've just soldered one of my own fucking holes up. No, I haven't. Thought I'd soldered one of my own, haven't have I? No. Sold the one of the holes up. Clip those down. Right. And this last one, I think, was a hundred microfarad. Mic, so I'll stick under a mic in it. I'm sure it was under a microphone. And the negative went this way. Ow. job. I hope I haven't lost that little, that little resistor. Well, I've just dropped the bloody capacitors. Node resistor. It's on here somewhere, unless it's not going to come off. Because I haven't sold it. Let me see that. Fuck sake! I 
add all this together and I might have lost that resistor. I lost that resistor, I'm going to have to look at the manual and find out what it was. I'll never know. We'll put them there for a minute. Not there. And just look round the desk, the bench. They could have knocked it off. I heard something at the floor before. That's one of the old capacitors. Hey folks, I'm back. Yeah, absolutely. Right, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put a one I've got a one and a half K here, I'll put that fucker in it. I'll speak, I was talking to Steve because I lost the node resistor, I was talking to Steve and he said a one K would do. So the closest I can find is one and a half, so fuck me. You know it's easier to pull another one out than it is to pick the original up. So now I've got to find another fucking resistor. You know something, I'm getting real butterfingers on me, folks. It's really, 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 really bad. If you should ever. That's 2.6k, that's too much. Do do do. See, I'm, I'm used to something called so colour codes. I'm used to something called so colour codes. I've got a chart, but I can't be asked fucking going over there. Put fucking the nearest to it in. And. Put the nearest to it in, and. It's gone off. Why is it off in the bow? Oh, that's why the switch was stuck. 1.49, that one will do. That will do. So what we'll do next, clean our wire ends, try not to drop our resistor, which we nearly pulled it out of our hand again. We already lost the fucking door where the node resistor went. Fell out and fell on the floor somewhere. But this one will do. This should do the job. Put that out of the way. So we don't need resistors all over the bench. There we go. Now a bit of solder. Right, so what I've done, I've put this capacitor here. But I've got a feeling I might have a problem with putting the fucking thing back in. Or well, maybe not. No, I won't. No, I won't. No, that doesn't let the floor it's risen, so we might be alright. If not, then I'll have to do something. Hello? Are you okay? Yes. Just come out and sort that thing out, would you? Yes. Alright, see you So basically, that should be okay. Because the original ones here, well that's not the original but it's the same thing, but there it is. The original ones here, and it went to about there, so we should be okay. So we, yeah, we should be okay. About this is similar. If not, I can do some modifications. Can do some jiggery pokery, folks. Jiggery pokery, that's what this is all about. It's all about poking and jiggling. Jiggery pokery. Jiggery pokery. So, what we do, we'll put 
that onto there. Oh, that there, and I'll put the other nut on if I can get it on. I'll fucking get my fingers in there. Yeah, have you ever tried getting your fingers in a tight confined space? Yeah, that's... Now, Scraps, shut up, you fucking... you ever tried getting your fingers in somewhere where... Scraps! Do you know it's fucking Myver in that stupid dog? I love him to bits but he's doing nothing but Myver. And it ain't even fucking time for his fucking dinner yet. It's only 11 o'clock. You're an hour away. You ain't been fucking fed yet. I don't care. Alright, so what I'm going to have to do here. Let's try. There we go. Now I'm just talking to young Frankie over the road who's buying herself some chips. You'll probably find it weird. I said, no, not really. Nothing wrong with wake up with a few jockeys. I've done it myself. In fact, years ago. Years ago, I got up once at five in the morning, and I thought it was a good idea to roast a chicken. At that time of the morning, yeah, these. I've checked with the Oracle, and he said that these capacitors should be fine. Tighten them nuts up. Don't want to go too far with tightening these because we'll do for that one. That's still not scraps. Do you know what it does your fucking head in? Tighten this one up a bit. It won't tighten because of the until that pulls all the way in. I should have put some spaces in. Oops! Trying to break that. Right. Well, that's as. Well, it won't break it, will it? It's just clipping it in. So we're all right. It's just going to bend over that way. Just hope it gets. Just hope that passes the fucking record deck, really. That's as far as I'm going to go with it, because they're not going to come out. They, they won't come out of there. And that board is supposed to be bent down that way. It's really primitively pr 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 produced. So, what we'll do, we'll stick these wires back on. The live speaker. The ground. Do the speaker. That 
that's that. Not worried about them, I know where they go. Now we've got the this one to solder up. I need to find out where there we are, there it is. Putting that on there is gonna be a problem. This is the this should be a ground. Oh, that goes to that goes there. Yeah. Don't know why they put a ground on here, but they have felt the need. So, it's got to go back on. There we are. They felt they obviously thought that ground was needed. So, so we, we will do as they did and put everything as it should be. <coughs> and we can. Solder that back up to there. I want that a bit further away from there. There we go. That's our So what I can do, I can press that down onto it. Oh no, I think we've got no, we've got it that time. We've got to put that onto the speaker. We've got to get a nut onto there. Yeah, that's going to be some fun. Put a fucking nut on there. It's got to go on. But not worry about that just yet because we've got to test everything. All right, so there's your. Negative. These are not single strand, these are multi strand wires. These are multi strand wires. I just hope we can get the fucking deck in with this big lump in the way we should do. There we go. It'll all be test fitted anyway. So, what we do next, we get our pliers. Where's our curly pliers? There they are. clip some of these wires down because I don't want them that long, they don't need to be uh, that long so we need to find the clippers, there they are, and we need to clip these wires, oops, and clippers are getting blunt, and there we go, so what we do next, 
as we put a J-hook in them. long wires. That's all we need. That's perfect. Yeah, no, that really is a bit thingy, but I think it will go in. I think it will just go down the side. Yeah, should do. Right, if it doesn't, then we'll have to think of another way. So the original capacitor was, let's get me 1k resistor. Solder that one. Oh, hang on. Uh, that went across the red and the black. So we'll put the red on. Scraps, do you also make you a nuisance? You ain't being fed yet, I don't give a fuck. You can wind you all day. just in time for my cup of coffee. Morning! Morning Andy. Yeah, do me a cup of coffee before we start. Get your scrap. Just got that room to do, haven't we, Andy? Yeah. Andy. Yeah, yes. Just that room. Yes, I've done some of it. Um. Right, do me a cup of coffee. Where's your cup? In the kitchen. You may as well have a cup of tea because I've got this job to do before I do that. No, do you fuck it's twelve not even twelve o'clock? Oh is it? The fuck is it only only eleven? Yeah. You see, it's easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle 
than it is for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Does, it mean, does that also mean, I wonder if God ever tried, if it's such a thing, to doubt, but I wonder if he ever tried feeding a, a wire up a capacitor with a resistor. Did he ever try that? But he hasn't. There we are, done. Clip off the excess. These clippers are a bit crap, but they'll do. Right, bend that there so that we can get right on it. There we go. And do the same there. So we can get right on it. Get it, get it, get it off. There we are. Now negative. Shut up. Read that through there. Or wrong one. There. Yeah. Now. Bring the bass and the record deck back up. Make sure that this will fit. Oh, it should do. God, there's some crap in here. You know, this needs to clear out. Make sure everything fits and works. Where's your milk come next? In the fridge. No, there's not one there. No, there's another bottle on the on the near the windowsill in the pan. Is all over them. Don't put them anywhere. Right, and that goes. Make sure that fits in there. If it doesn't, we're going to be in deep shit. Maybe. Yeah, Andy. Yeah, put it on here, Christine. I can't get through. Fuck me. There you go. Yeah, cheers. Right. Oh. Right. Put milk in the right. So that goes there. So we're a bit. What do you call it? See how it looks with the deck in it. See that's does actually fit. I mean that does fit into there. That's that's raised a bit there. I mean just put the deck in it and see if the deck fits. If the deck fits it can go as is. it's all screwed in it'll pull it all together it'll be all right it'll be fine that's good enough right, so let's
so that's Brown, and that just solders. Just to there. Christine. Scraps, shut up. Fuck's sake. I'm not getting fed yet. It's too early for him to go out. That's right. Now, everything else is put in apart from one nut that needs to go down there. And I've left it out deliberately for now. What's the matter with this now? That goes that way. That goes there. I'll tell you what. There the wires didn't give you a lot, did they? Stupid. I mean, I've put it back the way it came out. Right, that goes there. That live wire ain't long enough. So why is it? shut up? Why is the fucking live not long enough? It went in there. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. You know, I'm getting fed up of it, you know, because there's no need for this out of him. He's been out and he's waiting, he's not getting his food until 12. Makes it sound like you're starving. Christine, yeah. give him his fucking dinner. He's doing me, doing me fucking head in. Right, 
Right, that's that. Right. That is everything connected back up. It fucking works, it doesn't matter. But everything's back up, and that's how that goes. Which is a daft idea, but that's how it was done. The wire. Let's just get this shit. Let's just lift that back out again a minute. Try and. There we go. Oh, yeah. Fuck, I'm going to pull the fucking lot out of here. Do you know, I think this is a bit of a shit design. That they're supposed to go. Those clips are supposed to go under there. Lift that deck out a minute. That's supposed to go under there. And clip in. What are you doing now? Mm. Why has he had his dinner? He's had his dinner. You finished, haven't you, scraps? All gone. Fucking hell, he ate that fast. He does. Fucking hell, he ate that fast and you eat yours. Come on. Oi. Yeah. I said he ate that fast and almost as fast as you eat yours. I know, Christine, you eat like a bird. A fucking pelican. Yeah, she, she, she she's like a hippopotamus. She's like a mouse, my wife. Let's fuck all that. That's not right. Hmm. That's definitely not right. We're getting something. Getting what we fucking expect. Mm. Well, that's not right. There's no. Should go a lot louder than that. Right, it should go a lot louder than that. So why is it not going louder than that? Yeah, let's have a look. Why is it not going louder than that? Could be that node resistor, might have the wrong value in there. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to clip that and see what it does without it. Right. Cut that resistor.
see what we got this time. See if we get Let's do the touch test. Nothing. See, I don't know what value it was. Get me hmm. but there's nothing there, so I wonder. So we'll get a buzz on it this time. Nothing. Absolutely fuck all. That's weird. Let's have a look. What have I done? The speaker's connected where it should be. That's connected where it should be. Make sure that can't see that being a problem. Right, that's it. Right, there incorrectly. Right. No, that's the right way. Wonder if you don't understand. Right. I'm just having my coffee and sorting this out. Can't find my fucking sucker now. Where's my fucking sucker gone? What?
Gözümene Gözümene I'm just Having me coffee, not giving me chance So see what that one does. Right, so I think we might be the wrong way. I'm not sure I'll put it in the right way. Soon find out. Make sure the volume's up. Make sure it's on. That's not working. Just took that out a minute. Oh, we've got a problem somewhere. Nothing. Nothing. Weird. That's weird because I've done it correctly. I don't understand that. I don't understand why. But... I think that's getting. I think that's getting warm. Just turn it on for a second. Yeah. yeah. Let me just have my coffee, Christine. You don't let me. I'll, I'll be. I'll be done in a minute. I'll come out. I'll, you, now 
Got Christine. that way around that's right that's how that should go then it's not getting anything anything through it whatsoever so let's take that resistor off Nothing now. Oh well, I'll finish it later folks because we've got this to sort out. Bye for now. Hey folks and good evening and uh, it's warm isn't it folks? It's lovely. Warm. So we like it. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're gonna, we'll have two records. Uh, we'll have the Philly Shave Twist and we'll have uh, that one as well. Right, so basically, uh, this is the final part of this uh, video. We're all together, I've got to put the screws back in, but we're all done. The amplifier's now working. What the problem was I had, uh, I thought I'd put a capacitor in the wrong way around. I hadn't. I hadn't. What I'd actually done, uh, I'd very clumsily dropped a blob of solder off the iron and uh, shorted two points together. That was the problem. Anyway, uh So we're all done now, we're all back together, we're all we're all working. It has two on off switches on here. Switches off there permanently. And it also switches off here as well. So what we'll do, we're on 45. We were on 33 and a third, or if you're in Ireland, it'd be 33 and a third. With that rotary action like the Philly shape. Just up and down and tilt like it's floating heads. Philly shape. Twist here, twist there, twist just like it's floating heads. Floating, floating heads caress your face. I did have to replace the node resistor. Across the uh, across the uh, reservoir and the smoothing capacitor. The reason why, because I lost the original, so uh, I had a chat with uh, our friend Steve, and Steve recommended a uh, a hundred ohm. So we put hundred ohm over it, on it, and it's very happy. No hums, nothing. <laughs> That's about half volume. Made the major shaving with the village shave. Personal touch. 
your toughest struggle. Don't worry, fill a shade. Personal touch. Here's the modern twist in shade that a razor never gave. Shade smoother, quicker, closer. Go with a Phillips. Hi there, I'm the KTEL Exercise Man, welcoming you to a new you, because KTEL takes much pleasure in introducing you to the Multi-Exerciser, the exerciser that's designed to give you the shapely, healthy body that you've been looking for. Now, look at yourself in the mirror. If you want to get rid of that pot belly or spare tire, or maybe just tone up your muscles, then now you really can. Just a few minutes with the exerciser every morning and evening is all you need to do. The KTEL Multi-Exerciser is a very simple device to use. All you need is a convenient place to attach it, like a door handle that's about waist high. But make sure no one can open the door while you're doing your exercises. The room should have plenty of fresh air with a carpet or a rug to lie on. And you can also have a cushion to put under your hips if you need it. Now take advantage of the privacy of home to wear the absolute minimum of clothing so you're not restricted in your exercise. Now, before going on to the exercises, make sure you have read the exerciser instructions carefully so that you'll be familiar with all the movements. Why don't you keep it next to you while exercising, for easy reference. Now, are we all ready? Good. Well, let's try a nice, easy exercise to start you off with. This one's called the Tummy Toner. Now, this exercise is designed to tighten up those slack tummy muscles. First of all, lie on the floor, face up, with your head up near the door. Now put your feet in the straps and take the hand straps above your head. Now you just may have to adjust the straps at this point so that your feet just clear the floor. Okay, are we all ready now? Good. Now keeping your legs and arms straight, pull down on your hand straps and raise your legs. The muscles in your arms and legs and stomach should all of them work together. Now raise your legs as high as you can and then lower them to the floor again. Now let's try with a little bit of rhythm this time. Okay, are we all ready now? And away we go. Up, two, three, and down, two, three. Smoothly now, no jokes. And up, two, three, down, two, three. And up, two, three, and down, two, three. Now, with continuous exercising, you should be able to do at least 100 of these by the end of this week. And while you're in that position, let's move straight on to the second exercise. This one's called the high stepper. With your feet and hands still in the straps as they were before. Chest. And then, as you lower it, bring the other knee up in a kind of marching action. Now, with this one, it's important to flex the leg fully as you lower it and get the knee as close as possible to the chest. Got the idea? Right. Left. Right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Now keep practicing that one because it's very good for the whole body. Ready for exercise number three? Good. This is another nice, easy one called the thigh shaper. And once again, assume the correct starting position. On your back, on the floor. Both feet in the straps, hands in the hand straps. Keeping them straight, raise your legs to a midway position. And that's about halfway between horizontal and vertical. Then lower one leg about 16 to 19 inches. Not to the floor, mind. And as you raise it again, lower the other leg the same distance. Repeat this scissor action as fast as you can go. One, two, 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 one, two. Can you feel those lazy muscles working for you? Good. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Everything's happening. One, two, one, two, one, two. Keep it up. One, two, 
One, two, one, two. And now you should gradually work your way up to 100 exercises. Now that you've got those under your belt, why not turn the record over and reap more benefits from your KTL multi-exerciser? Right, and that's it, and uh, there's a good spin down on that turntable, that's not bad. And uh, this unit shuts itself off as well. Uh, when it... No uh, uh, wonder it sounds a bit crappy, a fucking big lump of fluff on there. That'll disappear, that sound from there in a minute. Well, I'll say it will. Maybe it fucking won't. Who's to know? Plenty of left in incapacitors. Let's turn that off a minute. Yeah. Tell you what. That's good. Incapacitors are certainly doing the job. Uh, what I've done, I've put uh, 2,200 microfarads in because they're all I had. So I put what I had in uh, because basically it's just a little mono record player. Um, the capacitors I've put in are better than what was ever in there before, and uh, with that. Uh, all that work done on it, this thing works absolutely beautifully. I'm going to listen to me, uh, what's this? Smash hits country style. But first change the speed, we want for 33 and a third. Alright, so we're turned on, about half volume. Right folks, thanks for watching and bye for now and more to come later.